My daughter would come over occasionally, and one evening she was here, and I simply said to her, I really wish I'd never left Philip. And she had never heard of Philip before, and so her question was, who is Philip? I uh, decided to come out, not by purpose, but by mistake. I had planned uh, to take my second identity to the grave with me. With the co-virus, with some medical problems I had, I had started writing my memoirs. And in writing them, it brought up many, many old, heart-rending Memories of my time uh, in California with my first and only true love, Philip. So I had to explain to her my homosexual relationship that I had back in the late 50s with Philip out in California. And uh, after telling her and getting her reaction, which was very positive, uh, I just thought, well, maybe it's time to come out. It had to be hidden because my culture, my training, my church all said it was wrong. And occasionally a homosexual experience, but it had to be buried because coming out in the 50s, 60s, 70s was a dangerous thing. You could lose uh, your job, you could lose your family immediately, you could lose uh, the, the uh, marriage if you were married, uh, and in some cases you could actually lose your life. We just did everything we could think of as a uh, couple, and we could never go out beyond the house because it was illegal in California at that time. Please, love your children all the way, no matter what they do. Being gay is not a choice. It's the way you're born.